the knot ball. Quick suggestion, I have a separate scene where those, where those cameras are swapped. Okay, we tried, I tried to set that up. And the only thing is, is because the Mac is so much quicker and I feel like the iPhone that I have is delayed, I wasn't sure about doing that um, because I felt like what would happen is uh, all of my talking would be so delayed it would really mess things up. I think we're going to try and do that. Um, even maybe like a 50-50 split I think would be better. Um, I just really tried to emulate what I saw on other people's streams and a lot of people seem to have this set up. So this is kind of what I tried for the first time. But I do get what you're saying because I feel like this is such a small screen, especially I feel like if you're watching on your phone. Aw, thank you, Uptimer. I really appreciate your follow. No, 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 not swap the camera. Huh. Not swap the cameras. So you just mean like swap their position. I'll do that next time, um, especially because everything that's happening is going to be right here. I don't know why my face would have to be so big. You're right. I The only thing is, is I do like this background a lot better, but I feel like when it comes to actually seeing the cooking that's going on, you're completely right as far as the placement of the cameras. Um, I did try to set up like separate scenes. Hi, Uptimer. You said, hi, how am I? Well, if you're just not checking in, I did make a blueberry martini, and I've only had, like, half a bowl of ice cream today, so I'm definitely feeling it a little bit. Um, so that's how I'm doing right now. How are you doing? Yeah, I do need to set up, like, just separate scenes in general. Um, that way it can you guys can move along with me in the kitchen. I feel like it's really awkward when I like go over to the stove area. You guys can't really see where I am. I did try to get it set up so it'd be more seamless. Oh, I'm happy you're feeling good. Um, but as far as just like getting it set up for the first stream, I was gonna try and do it like six o'clock and then it was seven o'clock and then it was eight o'clock and I was like, okay, I just need to get this stream set up. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I can just kind of go from there um, and see what your guys' thoughts are. So I do appreciate it. Um, I am going to try and work to get those things started. Um, but I think for now, just cooking uh, was just like a big priority for me because I was so hungry. I was like, I cannot put this off any longer because it's not like I'm making a quick pasta or anything. It's something that takes four hours and my tummy was growling. So it's like, I'm just gonna start this. And I did have, I started it and then I, I had to stop several times because it was looking more like um, pixel art for a little bit. And so I had to get used to that. Yeah, and I do appreciate the help. Just I think it's beneficial if you have any technical ability just because I don't have much technical ability whatsoever. I'm in school. I was a philosophy major and right now I do sales and teach classes. So, uh as far as like technical ability, the only thing required for me um has been like 
Microsoft Word and Excel. Nothing with like an extreme um, amount of effort needing to be put in and nothing that would require like a lot of, I don't know, jargon and linguistics, uh, like learning a new vocabulary for, which this very much has been, so when they talk about OBS or open source, whatever, I'm like, what is this? How does this work? So it's been super fun, interesting just to learn how it works. I've had endless Google um, inquiries going forth. Um, I think my Google search history is how do you do this on, uh, how do you blah, blah, blah on Twitch? Like the last 10 searches have just been, how do you blah, blah, blah on Twitch? How do you add music? How do you stream? I had to Google how to go live because I wasn't sure how to do that. So that's where I am. Yeah. Well, and I think like, you know, as far as like, there is a language when it comes to, you know, streaming on Twitch. Every, I, I think every like hobby that you can look at has its own jargon um, and own words. I mean, the same thing was true whenever I got into cooking. Yeah, there. I think there's a lot of tutorials. I think because I was streaming on a Mac, it made it a little bit different um, just because a lot of people, I mean, obviously people don't game on Macs very often. Um, and so I think a lot of the softwares are made for PCs. And... Um, so it's like everything was for Streamlabs.